the Joint Trade Union Movement, along with the National Trade Union Center, delivered a letter to the Prime Minister's office at Whitehall in Port of Spain on Wednesday, urging him to rethink government's vaccination policy for workers employed in the public service. Sunilala reports. We are totally against, radically against, anybody forcing down the throats, anybody forcing mandatory vaccination on any individual in this country. Wrong, unjust, unfair and high-handed are just some of the words used by head of the Joint Trade Union Movement, Ansel Roger, on government recent vaccine policy to make government offices safe zones. Although government says it has not made the vaccines mandatory, Mr. Roger believes otherwise. That this proposed measure tantamounts to the disguised implementation of a mandatory vaccination through the circumvention of proper parliamentary debate. Mr. Roger quickly pointed out that JTAM is not an anti-vax movement, saying unions encourage workers to get the vaccine to curb the spread of COVID-19, but believes it should be a choice. He believes government's approach may have the opposite effect of what they are attempting to do and says it is unfair to workers. All of those workers who for years would have diligently done their jobs, honestly done their jobs and contributed to the economy of Trinidad and Tobago, for you now, to deny them work, to deny them pay and work, to break their collective agreement with the threat of if they did not take the vaccine. The unions are urging government to hold meaningful consultations with them on the issue and warn of further action if necessary. Sonolala, TTT News.